Hi, welcome. I'm Sister. Thank you for visiting this channel and liking the video. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what Spirit has for you. Spirit, thank you for clear communication and divine protection. This is a general tarot reading, so please only take the message as it applies to your life. Leave the rest on the table. All right. Let's see. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles being the first card out. Ooh. Okay, I had to get some clarification real quick. Divine Feminine, I feel that you had a glow up. And I feel that a King of Pencil King of Pentacles. Alright, Virgo in particular, but Capricorn Taurus is included here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Virgo and Capricorn, not Taurus. Because I'm seeing the two of pentacles and ten of pentacles. But anyways, I feel that this King of Pentacles went and got a reading done on you. Or or went and spoke to someone has been spiritually advised concerning you was this a reader maybe yes yes or someone that they look up to a king of wands could be an older a older father figure or older masculine energy who has a uh, spiritual knowledge or occult knowledge this king of pentacles has been advised to walk away or break up with someone that they may have allowed to intervene into the connection yeah yep 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 i feel that this this higher font energy look did you hear that confirmation with the horn beeping i feel that this higher front energy advises king of pentacles because the king of pentacles wanted to know why did why they weren't feeling so king of king of pentacles ish i can't even say that okay but they weren't feeling themselves you know this king of pentacles is normally someone who can um walking the energy of always having money or if not always having the money things are working out for them in their material world to where even if they don't have the money they have assets or they have other things that can be liquidated into money you know but this king of pentacles has not been walking around in this energy lately they have been financially drained they have been stripped because the 10 and the 4 is 14 which breaks down to the 5 Okay, this person could have walked away from a Pisces or a Scorpio or a Libra or a Taurus. Yes, ended, or a Gemini ended things with someone because they did not feel that um, they were at their best. They could have betrayed this Empress. Empress energy, if you're a Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, you could have been betrayed. And I feel that spirit had came in after this betrayal. You had a rebirth in yourself. And this was justice for yourself to become this Empress. So now you've been elevated to Empress and the King of Pentacles has been left in his King of Pentacles chair and seat. And they're sitting there stagnant. All right. Chasing their own tail. Yeah, queen, queen of pentacles. So we have an empress here, a king and queen of pentacles. Okay. 339 could be of significance. You could be saying number 339 or 933. But, you know, I honestly feel that this person went towards someone who was their matched. Who was their matched. Okay, I said matched like a past tense. So this person could have walked away. This person could be getting a divorce. This person feels mentally trapped being in this relationship with this king of pentacles. If it's two earth signs, they feel that they're suffocating each other. We have the eight of uh, swords here. So this person just does, does not feel that they can have any type of growth with this queen of wands. Whoever this queen of wands energy is here. Yeah, but it's your justice that you've become this empress. It's like this whole situation has transformed you for the better. And this person ultimately did not see this coming. Whoever this king of pentacles is. Mental clarity as I cut the deck. Yeah. They didn't see this. They didn't see you in the nine of pentacles energy. 
because they were too focused on the queen of pentacles but because see this is the thing the queen of pentacles is higher than the nine of pentacles so maybe you were the nine of pentacles and this person was the king of pentacles and he went towards a queen of pentacles so he stayed in that relationship and instead of it elevating it just stayed in a state of stagnation or maybe they toppled out at their king and queen status i'm not for sure however you transformed not only did you top her out but you surpassed and and you grew and the things that you learned from this king of pentacles made you into this empress and now you're at a status that's unreachable and the king of pentacles does not know what to do about it with the star and the magician here they know that you are very strong okay very strong energy here so you could be uh, uh, a cancer rising or a cancer moon or somewhere wherever you have cancer placement in your chart with that chariot energy or leo okay and it's like this energy is coming full circle for you in this season because we are still in cancer season even though it's towards the end i feel that the, the it ending into coming from being sensitive right and for some of you all maybe you were a little hesitant about um asserting yourself into this empress position but coming from being in that cancer energy and going into that boastful prideful um but in a good way leo energy is what has helped you transform into this empress because it's like you literally have been through every queen in the deck you have to be every queen in the deck before you even reach this empress energy so this person left you before you could even become a queen and even if this person did not leave you or walk away, you could it could be vice versa. However, the connection got dismantled. But in that time of part, it was the best thing that could have happened to you. It really was because it truly grew you. You had to stand on your own, whether it be socially, emotionally, financially, mentally. All right. And that has given you the strength to be this empress. If you're not already in this energy, you will be soon. All right. You could be just not entering into the nine of pentacles. You could be uh, preparing to enter into the nine of pentacles just because you don't walk in the nine of pentacles. Every single moment of your life does not mean that you, it will not come to pass for you. OK, but let's uh, move forward. We have the two of cups here. Yeah, this person wants to change the dynamic of the relationship. Absolutely. So just be mindful of that when um, this person comes back. Yeah, they want to rebirth towards a happy home life okay this person could come be coming in from now up until october all right yeah or or yeah scorpio season or pisces that's too i don't like to make predictions too far along i know people do all the time but i don't i like to keep my shit short okay i because we don't have time to be waiting and, and then we're not waiting but at the same time it's like if you feel like someone's coming towards you you're going to sit still so Please wait for no one, Divine Feminine. No matter how many readers tell you, including myself, it doesn't matter. Sit, never sit still for no one. Spirit says, God damn it, I know that's right. I want to always let you know what's up. Don't ever sit still. All right? If this person wants you and they have some type of way to contact you, then they need to get, uh, get a move on it. Like, within the next few days. Not within no damn next few months. Okay, didn't I say the cherry energy here for you? You have very strong willpower. I could sense that. And I'm glad it showed up in the cards. But this is the reading. All is well, love and light. Ashe.